Hi, I'm Thatch Wynn, founder of Thatch Real Estate Group. So today I want to give you an update on what's happening in the real estate market in Seattle as of basically the end of March. So OMG is what I want to say first of all, okay? OMG. The market is ridiculously hot. I remember the last time it was this, it was like 2006, okay? So let me show you a couple of things, okay? And we're gonna have these on my site so you can actually get it. The Seattle PI says, Seattle house price up again, okay? Seattle Times says, King County home price highest since September, okay? Here's what's happening on the street, folks. Let me tell you that also until I show you this other graph in my hand. In the last probably 30, 35, 40 days, we have probably sold probably about 20 homes, okay? And what's crazy is I had two sets of brand new construction in Seattle. They were uh, houses and one set was townhouses and they were modern type of homes, okay? And modern is hot in Seattle, just so you know. And so we put these eight townhouse, okay, in the Central District area, and it was right around the 275, right around that area. Literally, folks, I put these on, and eight of them, in a week, all eight of them sold with multiple offer. Crazy. Then I put eight brand new home up for sale. The price was around 350, 370, okay? And those bad boy, within a month, so all eight of them. I mean, and the waiting list on these property now, it's crazy. And so it's not to notice everywhere around town that homes are selling, folks, within like a week. I'm representing a bunch of buyers also. My team is representing a bunch of buyers. And literally, when we get to a home on the first day, and we call the owners and we got an offer, and they got multiple offer on their house. I mean, it is crazy in Seattle right now. So why is all this happening? Let me show you, okay? First of all, let me just, and all these graphs are gonna be on my sites, okay? So you don't have to worry about, you can't read it, okay? So let me show you this, okay? This is the King County. This is alanpope.com. This is King County. It's called the Absorption Inventory, okay? And on here it says from zero to 100, okay? And what it means, absorption means is this, folks. If there's 10 homes for sale and two of them sold, that's a 20% absorption, okay? So, as of beginning of January, okay, we had a 32.9% absorption. Okay, the last time we had a 32% absorption, literally, folks, was back here in 2007. Okay, and if you notice in our low time, 13% absorption, 10% absorption, I mean, it was low. Okay, like that's like one home sale out of, out of 10. This is like almost uh, four home out of 10. And then a few months later, it's 44.3% absorption. And at the end of March, folks, 57.9% absorption. I mean, that's literally a vertical line went like this within three months starting after the first year. Crazy, okay? Now, let me show you this real quick, okay? This is the King County listing uh, and home sold. Let me just show you this, okay? After January in uh, 2012, we came into the new year, okay, with 7360 number of listing. And then in February, it dropped down to 7,000 listing. And then it continued to keep dropping at, in March, 6,700. The last time we enter into a new year, an inventory drop have not been around. You notice, in, uh, when we entered in 2010, we had 9,500 listing in 2010. When we moved into 2011, we had 10,000. 600. Same thing here at the beginning of 2011, right? So the last time we had inventory that dropped after the first, been a long time, folks. Now what's crazy is this, these are pending. In December of 2011, we had 2,000 pending. In, in January, 2,400 pending. February, 3,100. And then look at this, in March, we had 3,900 pending, folks. So if you notice the gap is shrinking, if you notice in our worst time in 2007, the gap was giant. High inventory, very low sale. Look at the gap. Look at the gap, it's shrinking. So what is it I'm saying, folks, in a nutshell? 
inventory is continuing to get absorbed up. Okay, buyers are out there buying. And then also, since the buying is coming in, buyers are coming in, they're eating up the absorption. So now this gap. So this is what's happening now all in Seattle right now, okay, in the Seattle market. So if you're a seller, now it's time to sell because basically you can get good price on it because now it's turning more and more into a seller's market, meaning more buyers, less inventory. So if you think of selling, it's time to sell. Property are moving fast. People are getting good money for their home. Buyer, folks, I'm gonna tell you, if you still get the mentality, I'm gonna wait and sit it out, you're crazy. Because right now, if you don't buy now, it's gonna get more expensive as the months and the year go by. And rates are still low. So even though we might have to compete a little bit, buyer, you know, for the price, but price is still low relatively as we move into the future. So if you're thinking about buying, folks, I'm telling you right now, jump into it and do it now. Because there ain't no better time because rates are low and it's going to get more expensive. And as the market gets heated up, rates are going to start climbing. That is what's happening at the end of March 2012, folks, in Seattle real estate. So if you're thinking about buying, selling, investing in real estate, you need help. You need a professional team to help you. Call us. We'd be very happy to help you, okay? Until then, folks, have a great day. Remember, always dream big and serve unconditionally.